Hey guys, it's Honey G here and I'm back with a tutorial video on how to edit a montage. Actually, how I edit a montage. And I'm going to show you how I sync the clips with the music. It's called time remapping and you slow down and you do stuff with it and make it go faster. You can do anything with it. And the, the song I've chosen here is actually Meet Me from the Meet Me montage. I don't know why I named that. And it's about two minutes and 20 seconds into the song and you'll see here that I've put little markers here these are where the beats are in the song and this first marker here is actually where it drops you can put in the markers by listening to it and you just have to press the star key to insert the markers okay so the next thing I did was um, match the strike with the first beat which is the drop and you're gonna want to enable time remapping and to do that you right click on your video layer go to time and enable time remapping in this case I already have it enabled and you'll see it pop up down here I've already matched the first swipe with the first marker so where it drops okay once you've done that you're gonna want to insert a keyframe on every strike basically where it hits so there's one there and hold on let me just zoom in so I can see clearly and you just go around there as well, so there, insert keyframe, and go to the next one, insert one there, next one, about there, insert one there, and then Okay, so you notice that uh, there's a little bit of time in between the next kill. So it doesn't really matter, you just um, scroll through it and just insert a keyframe right there where he gets the kill. And with time remapping, this, just think of it as like a timeline, right? When you um, stretch these markers, I mean keyframes apart, um, they get slower, but if you put them closer together, they get faster. So that's the important thing, right? If you want to slow down this little clip right here, which is what I did, you go right after the first keyframe to where he finishes the strike and you're going to want to insert another keyframe and basically do the same with the rest of the keyframes. So probably right there. Right there, where he finishes the strike, and that's where you want it to go. Uh, that's where you want it to speed up to the next swipe. Right there, so you probably finish right there, and then fast forward to the last one, and right there, probably. Okay, that looks pretty good there. Insert a keyframe there. Now, you see, at the start of every swipe, you're gonna wanna match it with these little markers up here so it matches with the beat, right? So, on the second strike, you can select the whole thing right here. And to make it more accurate, you can put your little timeline thingy right there where the marker is. And you put the second strike there. And you just do the same with the rest of them. Select this. Put it there. Maybe I'll just zoom in a little bit more to make it more accurate. And then put one there. There we go. And the last one there. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so in between these keyframes, they've sped up a little bit because I've brought them closer together. But to slow them down, like the strike, you stretch these apart right here. 
And now in the timeline, the strike will play along this timeline right here, slowing it down. And in between this keyframe and this keyframe, everything will speed up. So you got that slow motion going on there and it'll speed up and then you got the next strike. It'll look better in the preview, but I'm just scrubbing it right now. And you're gonna wanna do the same thing with all the keyframes. So stretch that, that one out there, stretch this one out and stretch this one out and stretch this one out a little bit. All right, now we're gonna preview it and see what it looks like. All right, and it looks looks pretty good so far. And you'll, you'll notice that it's very, very laggy when I slow it down. And that's because I haven't done anything to the video yet. You'll see in a sec. Okay, so to make the clips a little bit smoother when it slows down, you're gonna wanna enable frame blending. Click this one twice. And maybe add a little bit of motion blur. And then we'll preview that. Okay, so looking pretty good, it's a little bit smoother. Now, the the only problem with frame blending is this little section right here, as you can see, it it's not very good with um, blending vectors together. As you can see, it, it's really, really blurry. You see that it's warpy and not very clean. But it, de it really depends on your song because somehow this little effect right here, it fits with my song. Like most of the time you encounter things that are unexpected and somehow they fit with your music, which is what happened with me sometimes. And that's why I kind of used Twixter with my new video, the better montage, so that it'll look a little bit cleaner. And I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple and um, yeah in the next section I'll, I'll I guess I'll show you how to use Twixter with my new one actually you know what I think you just uh, watch a tutorial online on how to use Twixter because it's kind of the same thing as time remapping except that you just have to know how to punch in the numbers manually like how slow you wanted the percentage and all that stuff Okay, so I'm guessing this is what you're talking about, this uh, part of the video right here. And really, it's exactly the same thing as what we did with the time remapping just then. And I'll just go ahead and do that again. And you see here, I've got the markers again. So I wanna insert a keyframe as soon as Devo comes out of her mech right here. So right in between there, and insert a keyframe and where she, um, her mech explodes. So probably around there. There we go. I'll insert a keyframe there. And when she re-enters her mech, right again. So, right there. That's pretty much it for D.Va. And um, let's have a look at the preview for a sec. And you notice this little section right here where it goes like this? I'll just listen to it. And that's where I kind of... Uh, reversed my video, like went back and forth again. And you actually have to count how many times that beat count, um, comes up. So when you listen to it, they actually heard it five times. So it's like, do, 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 do. And then, so the last beat was right here, I think, right there. Oh, actually, I think it was here, yeah. So the last one was around there, and I think the first one was right around here. So there's three more in between because there's five beats, right? So you just put it in the middle, set a keyframe there, set a keyframe there, and one more there. And now 
this is the important part right here. So you're gonna click on any one of these keyframes and you're gonna click right here, the graph editor. And you'll see there's a straight line going upwards. That's because the video is playing as the time goes on. And you got, you've got the number of seconds right here. It's kind of self-explanatory, right? So I'm gonna zoom in right here. And you see these little uh, boxes right here? If you drag them upwards, uh, it'll make the video go forward faster. And if you drag them downwards, it'll make the video go backwards. So let's let's uh, play around with it, just experiment with it. So we'll drag this one, I guess, upwards that way. Drag this one down, and this one up right here, a little bit high because we need to, it's going upwards. And let's uh, let's preview that. All right, that um that looks that looks pretty good so far. Actually, that's basically it. There's nothing much to it, and. The same thing with the last part, if you want to slow it down, you can just insert the keyframes right behind the beat and stretch it out again to slow it down. Um, actually, you need to do that before you um, mess with the graph editor because that's going to mess up your timeline. Okay, so let's go ahead and preview this with frame blending on to see what it looks like. Okay, so that looks really good, and that's basically it. I probably won't touch on color correction. I'm sure there's hundreds of videos out there that you guys can learn from. And if this video helped you, I'm glad. If it didn't, I'm sorry. I guess you can comment below on what I missed. I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of things, but um, I guess I can make a separate one if need be. And um, Thank you so much for watching, I'll, I'll see you in the next one.